Hi everyone, I'm Chad Shoup, and welcome to this week's edition of Bank It or Take It. I'm doing what I call my quick takes segment, where I'm just running through a few stocks, five stocks for you today, in really quick fashion. We're just going to look at the price charts and break down whether or not I think these stocks are on my Bank It list or Tank It list, simply based on their price charts. And that's the number one factor for me, being a chartered market technician. I love analyzing a stock based on its price charts. No other factors being involved, just looking at the price chart and letting me know whether or not I want to bank on the stock going higher or it's a stock set to tank and head lower. So today I just want to give a big shout out to the few people that have sent me in these stocks. It's David, Hamang, John, Donald, and Alex. So thanks for sending in the companies that you wanted me to take a look at. And I encourage everyone to leave me a comment below this video. Let me know what stocks you want me to feature in an upcoming Bank It or Tank It video or one of these quick takes. Just leave the stocks down there, the ticker symbols that you're interested in. Now add them to my list and I'll be sure to feature them in an upcoming video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like my insights, if you enjoy the content that I'm sharing with you today about these charts, quick look at some stocks, then just hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and let me know that you appreciate this content. So let's dive right into it. We have our first company today, Twilio. So Twilio, it's in the cloud business, and you can see here on this chart, that's had enormous growth over the last 12 months. I mean, this is coming out of the pandemic, a nice rise, but even before then, it started lower and just continued to climb higher here over the last 12 months. But now we're starting to see some profit taking. And normally I would maybe go ahead and have the lines drawn on the chart, but for these videos and what I, the way I wanted you to walk you through it, I'm gonna go through and place the lines as I see it because you can see this one probably already that we wanna have a support line across the bottom. This is showing that the stock's been heading lower. So we have a downtrend shaping up in the company and that's a bit concerning because price is everything, right? You never want to fight the trend. You know that's a classic saying. And in this one, the trend is clearly lower. So as long as that's the case, this stock stays on my tank hit list. Look, it's in the lagging quadrant right now. I've talked about the RRG a lot. This rotation, that stocks go from lagging the market. Then once they go back to blue, that means they're improving. And then they eventually get back to green, leading the market before they start to weaken yellow again. So the fact that it's lagging now means that this run on the downside that we've seen over the last couple of weeks may be about to let up, but it doesn't mean that we're going to see a sudden surge back up because it isn't a downtrend. I'm expecting more volatility, but it's not going to be on my bank at list just because there's a cap on the upside. We know that this resistance here in the red is going to be a key level to watch for the stock, and we're not going to expect it to break out above that anytime soon. So this stock's going to be on our tank at list for now. And of course, all these uh, guidances can change depending on what the price does. So for now, Twilio's on the tank it list. Our next stock, Royal Caribbean, RCL. So cruise line operator, we know that they have struggled massively with the pandemic. We see the drop off here on the left-hand side of the chart from the pandemic. And then it's been basically stair steps higher. We got to push higher, a little bit of pullback consolidation, a push higher, a little bit of a pullback, another push higher, a pullback, you get the idea. And we're going through that exactly right now. I push higher, then we got the pullback, and it's in a lagging quadrant. And once we draw our key levels here, just to know what to watch. And see right now, the stock stuck within the key levels. But it gives you an idea of when to expect the breakout. So we want to see the stock break out of this little range. And it's really creating a nice flag pattern here. We have the flagpole shooting up, and then the stock trending sideways. We would expect it to shoot higher again. But it's happened like that the last three times that this has occurred. So we see this shoot up, then a consolidation, then a shoot up, consolidation, shoot up, consolidation, shoot up, consolidation, does it shoot up again? I mean, that's going four out of four. It's a nice move uh, for the stock and it's a nice pattern here that we're watching. So I'm gonna have it on my bank list. Crew stocks have been beaten up, but that's starting to come around the corner here. And if we had seen a rally like this, a very strong rally heading into the news because cruises are about to get started here in the summer months, they're gonna start opening back up here in Florida. So we know that they're coming around to getting back to normalcy and it's it's gonna be volatile too. I expect some headlines out of the cruise ships on how things are going, any other positive tests, that sort of thing. So it's not gonna be a straight line higher, but from here, as long as it stays above this green support line across the bottom, I'm gonna have it on my bank it list. It's trending slightly lower, but I'm expecting it to break out to the upside and then continue climbing from there. So Royal Caribbean, keep it on your bank it list. Next stop is eGain. Now, this is another cloud company that we have trying to disrupt the industry just by bringing all the platforms online and creating a central hub for automation, for data processing, and for companies to use and just have everything on one platform. So, when we look at the stock, 
has seen a massive tell off here. Going back to what, October 2020, we've seen the just just crater lower, and that's that's definitely a warning sign. So something's going on here. And when we dive deeper into the stock here, I just look short term. So we had this key resistance here across the top that it actually broke out of. We saw a big move here on May 11th. That was earnings, so that was a positive beat. I don't know if you know this, but my number one option strategy that I trade is around earnings events. And when you see a stock, you see a big gain on earnings like this, a nice solid jump, 10% rally at least. And then a lot of people think that it's time to take profits. But what we tend to see is the stocks continue to climb. It's called a drift, where the stocks drift higher after that as the market continues to digest this positive news. And I think that's what we're going to see with E-Gain. It broke out of this um, little wedge pattern that it was trading in down here. And now we're headed higher. And I think it'll get up back up to this key resistance up here on the top so I'm gonna add a horizontal line this is gonna be my key level to watch this is what I think will hit over the next few weeks gets back up to $13 a share does it break above that that's gonna be up in the air it's gonna be a key level to watch for the stock and we want it to break above that if you're bullish but if it tests it and starts to pull back then you want to take some profits off the table and wait until we get the breakout before you jump back in but e-gain it's gonna be on my bank hit list for now I'm expecting it to run higher from here and head back up to this key resistance level on the chart. Now our next stock is Sorrento Therapeutics. So this is one of the COVID plays. They actually developed vaccines against coronaviruses, so they were a clear play around the pandemic and on the news of the pandemic. So we saw the stock just shoot up massively and benefit enormously from the pandemic. It's one of the few companies with a direct beneficiary, not just an online retailer, that sort of thing. They helped develop vaccines, so they saw a nice run up ton of profit taking came back down a run up again so they've been in the news and they've been seeing some steady volume and then it came crashing back down again so now we're watching the stock for a chance to pop higher but when we start adding in our trend lines here we can see that we're in a clear downward path now let me add the that's the resistance line now we add the support line across the bottom and you see let's take out you can see that drawing trend lines is definitely an art but here we just had a quick dip back up so we don't have to draw a line based on that steeper slope. We can cut through it like that. And that's gonna be the key support to watch here as this is trending lower. But as I said earlier, we don't wanna fight the trend. This stock's trending lower. And I think it can get up higher out of this and continue to back up to about $8 a share, which is a big move. But at this point you're risking it because you look at the volatility the stock has seen and right now it's in a downtrend. So we don't wanna put this on our bank hit list. It's gonna be a tank hit stock because I want to see it break out, get above that red resistance line before it's a stock I'm willing to bet on going higher. Now, the way that this is positioned now, it's in the red, it's in the lagging quadrant, and it's near the bottom of this channel. So it's not a good bet yet to place on the downside. We want to see it break below that support, and then it can take even farther. And I know it's only trading at a few bucks a share, but a move from $6 down to $3 is a 50% plunge, and that's well in the cards. For this stock we look back here where it was trading at may of last year and is around three dollars a share so and if we zoom out even more you can see that it can go down even under two dollars a share so if the stock has continues to head lower there's massive potential on the downside but for now we want to wait for the breakout we want to see it get above one of these key levels before we place our trade now our last stock today marathon oil so oil and gas giant this is a company that just got hammered with the pandemic when the world shut down Oil is no longer in demand. That slowly started to change. Now we saw the stock shoot up here in 2021, a nice rally, and now it's starting to consolidate again. But I love these rallies and then consolidation because what we see is that these periods of consolidation where the stock takes a breather before it heads higher, it's just that. It's a chance for the stock to basically catch its breath and then break out again to the upside. So we had the nice rally higher now we're just trending lower in this little channel. It's in the leading quadrant now, so it's going to be tough for it to make that breakout, but it, it still could. I'm betting on a breakout out of this for Marathon Oil, so it's going to be on my bank at list. We see that the trend here is clearly to the upside. We're just pushing higher, pushing higher. Now we're going through this consolidation, and I expect it to break out to the upside once it comes out of this. And how much further can it go? I mean, it's trading under $12 a share right now, so this could easily push up to $15, $16 a share over the next 12 months. But in the short term, we're looking at a breakout, at least back up to $14 a share. So a double digit gain here in the stock, but using options, you can really turn it into a nice double digit, maybe even triple digit return because options give you the leverage to capitalize 
on these short-term moves that I'm talking about today. So that's all for my quick takes video. Again, I just run through five stocks, give you my quick take based on these price charts, the way that things are setting up over the last couple of weeks. You can use it to predict what's going to happen in the upcoming week. So take this, use it wisely, watch the key levels, and be sure to leave me some feedback. Leave a comment below this video. Let me know what stocks you want me to use in an upcoming Bank It or Tank It video. I'll be sure to feature them. And just let me know what's on your radar, which ones are in your portfolio. It doesn't matter why you want to take a look at the stock. Just leave me a comment. I'll be sure to feature it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm Chad Shoop.